With all of the electrical projects that I've been doing with the RV, I finally decided it was time to buy a labeler that could label heat shrink tubing. And I looked in the market and the two inexpensive label printers was the Brady BMP21, which was around $96, and this one, the Dymo Rhino 4200, which was around $65. Now there really isn't a whole lot of difference in the price between $65 and $95 if it does what you need it to do. The both of the machines I looked at were entry level and you can buy slightly more expensive ones as well. I also bought the case but I opted not to buy the lithium battery with a charger because these run on antelopes just fine. But what ended up influencing my decision was the cost of the labels. And for one quarter inch heat shrink for example the Brady cartridges cost around $42 per cartridge for seven foot of heat shrink and that turns out to be about six bucks a foot. The Dymo heat shrink, the same quarter inch, that turns out to be about $4.45 per foot. So the Dymo heat shrink is about 30% cheaper. However, the Dymo also has a lot of third-party cartridge makers and I was able to find the same heat shrink from a company called AOI Mark and it's of course a generic brand, a dollar twenty-five per foot. That's what really sold me on the Dymo. You're gonna have more money invested in the heat shrink labels than you are, you know, on the machine. One initial concern I had was what was the quality of the heat shrink, and the heat shrink so far looks like it works pretty good. Uh, with a third party heat shrink, I have no complaints. This will not only do heat shrink, but it will do some neat stuff. It'll do the heat shrink, it'll do a wrap, and it'll do a flag, and I'll demo one of each. Also, there is a breaker mode where you can label your breakers. And the more expensive models will do 110 blocks and patch panels and things like that. However, I found that I can do terminal strips with the breaker mode as well, so that's really all I need. Now this does have a few symbols that you can use, electrical symbols and other symbols, but they are kind of lame. There are not a lot of them there, so you know I probably won't use too many of them. And some of the other models may have more symbols, I don't know. And there is no way to upgrade the firmware or to add symbols to this where there might be with the more expensive ones. So you know you get what you pay for, like anything else. This will do one quarter through three quarter inch wide labels. And I made a mistake and bought a one inch wide and it won't fit in this machine. It'll fit in, you know, the more expensive ones. And there's really a quite a nice uh, quick start guide, and it shows you uh, basically with a little index tab here. It shows you how to do just standard labels, and then these are for your breakers. And you can do barcodes, which I didn't address earlier, which I don't have much of a need for. And you can do a series of consecutive numbers. And then here's where my interest lies. You can do wire wrap and flags for wires and cables. Let's do a couple different types of wire tags. And right now I've got three quarter inch white on red. So first I'm going to do a wire wrap, which is a non heat shrink cable ID. Select cable wire, AWG3, a greater, AWG02, or self select. And we can say 020 of an inch in diameter, and we're going to just put it on this 18 gauge wire. Just say G R O U N D. We're just going to call it ground. And then under the orientation, our orientation is vertical. So let's just print it. And by the way, this is a vinyl which is UV protected. In the various types of labels, you can get polyester, which is not good for wire wrapping, or you can get flexible nylon and heat shrink tubing and vinyl which is UV and the heat shrink is UV and then you can get non-adhesive tags so as they show here if you have a little slot that you can just put a little card stock in then you can buy tags that will correspond to that. We've printed out our label and the vinyl really sticks pretty good and it's very flexible and then we just start wrapping it with the part that doesn't have a legend on it and we just keep going around on it like that there we go and we'll see if we can focus in on it there we go okay and so now we'll use a flag so we'll do a clear again 
Yes, and then flag, we have to do an alt wire cable. In flag type, I'm going to choose small, fixed length, auto, and then ground again. And there we go. And of course we can make larger fonts if we need to. And with this style, as a flag, sometimes it's easier said than done. Close the end. Put the wire through. And there we go. We have a ground as a flag. And these two would be good for cables that are already terminated. So we'll turn this off and we'll go with some heat shrink. And again, we just uh, remove the old cartridge. Insert the new one. And then we'll turn it on again. Then we'll clear what we had. Then we're going to say wire and cable. Again, we're going to select 020 and then ground again. We want to rotate the text this time so that it is down the length of the cable. And there we are. And I don't have my heat shrink gun here, but I think you get the idea. This is standard 3 to 1 heat shrink, so, you know, it'll tighten down real nice. And even though this only has a breaker mode, I'm able to print these labels that are sufficient for terminal strips. So this does everything I want it to do.